Super Suiters. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. You got your armor guy. Got my belt of truth check. Press plate of righteousness. Shoes of peace. Shield of hate. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Helmet of salvation. In a land not too far away, in the city of Lorkville, a beautiful, peaceful city, where the citizens of Lorkville live in perfect harmony. Oh no, it's Motto! He's been planning to take over Lorkville! What will he do today? It's up to our super suitors to save the day! Ha ha ha! You may know my silly twin brother, Otto! I'm not. Who cares? I am Motto, the scariest and baddest monkey in 
the whole world. I'm going to take over Lorkville. Ha ha ha. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. It's going to be doom and gloom in Lorkville forever. Ha ha ha. You know, we should celebrate. Celebrate what? Uh, us becoming super suitors. True, that is a stop from being in the academy, right? Exactly, and to be fully fledged superheroes. Hooray! Yeah! Ha ha! Those super suitors won't be able to stop me! I'm going to make everyone here miserable! Ha ha! By making them put on layers and layers and layers! news. So the weather, it was sunny, but now it's raining again. And in other news, people in Lorkville are wearing layers. How bizarre. Who is going to stop them? The super suitors? Let's see. Yes, I am gonna put some layers oh, on. Oh wow, so what did you do today then in school? Um, just nothing, just learning, lots of reading. Reading? Oh, yes. I wasn't much of a fan of reading when I was younger. No, really? No, no. All my kids are doing all the reading these days. Oh, I get fed up of it. I uh, can't stand them anymore. But I do love maths. Really? Maths? Yes. Why maths? I'm pretty good at arts and craft also. Really? All the arts and crafts? That's amazing. Oh, shall I give you a hand there? Oh, careful, careful. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. So, what's maths like in high school then? Um, it's not different from um, primary, just a bit harder. Oh, oh dear. I, don't, I didn't like primary very much either. Really? No, no. Oh. oh it's too much to do, isn't it? It's too much to it's do. It's a lot to do. So, what are you having for dinner then? Um, probably some beans. Oh, beans? Yes. What? Beans and potato and some cheddar cheese, melted. Is that it? Yes. Oh, all right then. All it's right. a classic of mine. Stop. Oh, stop. Don't put on no more. Don't put on no more. Why are y'all putting on these? No, you don't need stop. these on. Stop. Stop. Well, I I'll see you later yeah. then, yeah? All right, yeah. forget your groceries. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. We need help. Let's reach from the superhero's guide to awesome ways to defeat Monto. Also known as the Bible. God's people, the Israelites, were in oh. battle with an enemy called the Philistines. The Philistines had one soldier that they used to scare the Israelites. The soldier's name was Goliath. <laughs> he was over nine and a half feet tall. Each day, Goliath would go down in front of the Israelites and shout for them to send up a soldier to fight him. The winner of the fight would win the whole battle. But the Israelites were terrified of Goliath. They would run right away to their hiding spots every time he came out. But one day, as David was bringing supplies to his brothers on the battlefield, he heard Goliath's threats towards the Israelites. He left the battlefield and went right up to the king. David said he would fight Goliath, so the king brought down a suit of armour and put it on David. But the armour didn't fit, and David knew it wasn't what he needed to defeat this enemy. Are you ready? All that David needed was God's help and power to win the battle against his enemy. So David picked up some stones and went down to where Goliath was standing. Goliath laughed at David, but David said, <laughs> I see that you come with me with spear, javelin and sword, but I come to you in the name of the Lord our God, 
He rescues us, not by javelin and spear like you do, because for him the battle belongs to the Lord. Relying on God's power, David ran up towards Goliath and <laughs> flung his stone right in Goliath's head. Mm. The stone hit him and he fell down dead. The Philistines left in fear, but the Israelites jumped up in victory. God's power protected David and gave him the victory over his enemy. David had victory over his enemy because instead of using helmets, shields, or swords, he relied on God's power. We can all have the power to fight against anything that comes our way when we suit up with all the pieces of God's armor. The belt of truth, the armor of godliness, the good news boots, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. With each piece we have more strength than any hero imaginable. I know how we can defeat mortals. How? We should ask God for help. Yes, then they can do what David did and take off all the extra layers so Lockville can go back to normal. Yes. Shall we pray? Yes. Heavenly Father, we pray that the people of Lockville will grow to know that they can suit up with your armor and stand strong against anything they face. In Jesus' name, amen. Super Suitors out. You may have stopped me this time, but you've not won yet. Super suitors, just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs>